3.18 has been really one of those really weird experiences. It was a really big patch, and then they just had a lot of issues. And uh, Saturday, pretty much the first time I tried logging in for the patch, uh, all I was able to accomplish was essentially getting out of Lorville. I managed to get out of Lorville with the Vulture. Now, th what was happening is the fleet manager was not working, so no one was able to spawn ships. And when you did get a sp uh, ship to spawn, it would not tell you what hangar. But if you played the game for any amount of time, then you could pretty much guarantee that uh, you can kind of guess which hangar to go to. And that's what ended up happening. You just had to play like elevator um, lottery. So I managed to get out of Lorville pretty early on on Saturday and nothing else really I was able to accomplish. I tried to do a little bit of salvaging, but it was just um, first those login errors, like 30 Ks before you even got to the menu. And then if you did get in, then it was um, extremely laggy and things like that. But uh, it was a little bit more stable on Sunday. I was able to actually get on. I actually got the vulture and everything out to Arca one managed to spawn it out, got into space, found a crash site, and started to salvage a little bit and ended up finding another abandoned uh, vulture with a uh, player body hanging out in space and I wanted to kind of address this because it was kind of funny and kind of entertaining at the same time but also kind of like a PSA but there's an issue with the vulture that sometimes when you exit the pilot seat that you'll get exited out the side exterior door and I think that's what happened to this player because I ended up looting all of their gear. They had backpack, body armor, um, they had all kind of armor, under suits. They had everything you would expect, uh, med gun, all that stuff, multi-tool, but they had everything except for a helmet. So what I think ended up happening here is this player was attempting to salvage and they filled up and then they exited the pilot seat and got ejected or they exited out the side exterior door and basically suffocated. But I ended up looting all their stuff, and that was pretty much all I accomplished on Sunday. And um, been trying a little bit. Uh, Monday was uh, a lot of just 30Ks at the menu, a lot of just login issues. But right now, today, I've managed to actually get on and uh, spawn. I was actually able to actually spawn in, log in, and get the, uh, the vulture out. <clears throat> I was able to fill up the vulture completely. And without any 30Ks, without any uh, lag, without any, th any real issue, which was really nice. So I figured I'd kind of record this video and talk a little bit about the salvaging on live side. I did a lot of it on the test server. And also just ultimately show what the value of a full vulture is on um, the live server. And from someone who's done quite a bit of stuff in Star Citizen, every patch I've kind of focused a lot on certain different things like 3.14 is where I started so I was pretty much doing nothing but crashing my ship a lot learning how to fly and just doing a lot of crappy stuff there 3.15 I focused a lot on mining did a lot of quant mining did a lot of things like that 3.16 I did like a little bit of mining but mostly I was doing bounties and um, missions and FPS stuff and everything 3.17 I didn't really play it too uh, too much because there was a lot of mining bugs with the mole I did a lot of mining prior but a lot of the issues that were going on with the mole and things like that, I just was kind of burnt out of mining. So I didn't play a whole lot in 3.17 for the most part, but I ended up getting on the test server for 3.18. Um, I wasn't really, salvaging wasn't really on my radar as a viable um, gameplay loop for income because one of my biggest things is like I usually try to get on and earn a lot of credits early on in the patch and that way I can buy ships in game, kind of review them do uh, tours and things like that so whenever I started doing salvaging on the test server I ended up uh, enjoying it quite a bit and the income is actually really great it's a little tedious as you can see here we're still mining or still salvaging on here the red outline means that the uh, hull itself is actually getting um, pretty much used up but you have to every time you fill up twice essentially you'll fill up it'll eject and then you'll fill up again you have to come back into your ship and use a multi-tool with a tractor beam attachment and this is the new uh, grid system in the ships everything kind of snaps into place so you essentially just have to kind of keep going it's um surprisingly pleasing and um, relaxing to do this 
And what I have found, it's actually more profitable and more efficient time-wise than doing, say, quant mining. Quant mining, you spend a lot of time actually looking for a decent rock. And then when you do find it, you are put on a time limit to get back. Then you have to wait to get it refined. And then you basically refine an entire load before you really risk taking it to market and things like that. But as far as salvaging goes, the uh, it's it's a lot it's a lot better turnaround. You don't have to wait for like say refining or anything like that. Now, I ended up I had the Con Constellation Taurus, and that was my daily driver pretty much for all of 3.16, 3.17. What I decided to do for this patch is I'm gonna be focusing on salvaging, and then I'll probably end up buying my mission and my FPS ship or my FPS stuff. So what I ended up doing prior to, or right after 3.18 dropped it was I traded it actually in for store credit my Connie Taurus and ended up getting the the Vulture here as my pledge ship. This allows me to not necessarily need a hauler plus a mining ship. That's what you would require if you're going to do mining. You actually would need the prospector and then you have to either rent the Cutlass Black or you have to have something that you can put the ore into to make that you know income gameplay loop work and the Connie Taurus filled roles and uh, it filled roles so it was able to actually do the uh the transport ship part but it was also able to do like the bounty mission part and so I ended up having to just every patch buy a prospector for mining and it got really tedious so my big goal for this patch is just to use the uh the vulture and do a lot of salvaging and see how effective I can be and one of my biggest goals, and I'll be doing a lot of videos over this for this patch, is my my goal is actually go, all, um, get us up, up to like 300 or 30. I want to try to get 30 million credits with just salvaging. And now that the server is becoming more stable, it's um becoming a lot more easy. So here we are in the uh, TDD in Area 18. As you can see, this is 12. This is what's on the grid. 92,000 for essentially what a full vulture is. And which is really good after I sell the one there's actually more than there's 14 actually SU in the thing but it won't actually uh, let you sell anything that's still in the uh, the boxer the compressor so after I sold all 13 it ended up being a hundred we started this patch with 205,000 credits so I'm at 200 or 305,000 credits after this was uh, full vulture 100,000 uh, which it took me like 15 minutes to fill it up, but but I'm really excited for this patch. I'm looking forward to just doing a bunch of salvaging and just kind of getting my wallet back up. But thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.